Yeah, I was really proud of the way we hung in uh, through to, through to half time. Almost could have got our nose in front just on half time, which I think would have given the boys a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of belief. Um, unfortunately, it didn't quite get there. And then right at the start of the second half, um, you yeah, know, we lost uh, slips had come on a skipper, and and we lost them straight away. And and we got a little bit dishevelled in the in the pack because we were we were down numbers, and so. Um, at the same time, they were bringing some numbers on that are pretty impressive, obviously. Uh, Yibin played most of the game with Morit going off early, but then, you know, they, they had some firepower they brought on. Um, I, I was also proud that the, you know, the, we didn't um, kind of die wondering. We, we, we chanced our arm um, a few times in pretty tough conditions because um, it, it, it was it was tough going uh, with the carry and and um, and to be able to to carry in these conditions. They actually turned a fair bit of ball over as well, um, and uh, and we survived, scrambled back and and survived a couple of early threats as well. Which again, I was I was proud of the effort that was made. You mentioned losing some numbers, losing some players. What's the latest? Um, Guys are going through HIO process, um, so Alan Alalatoa, James Slipper, um, and uh, I, I think Angus Bell just got a split um, on his eye, so his was blood originally, and and then um, yeah, um, Josh Nass was his calves were cramping, and so kind of we worked our way pretty much right through our our full front row, and um, and it meant that Harry. Had to artificially be a loose head prop, um, but it, one of the things about that, um, you know, it, it just made our our mall defence a little bit less able to be structured, or guys not quite knowing their role as well, because because we obviously had a, a number of changes. Joel, can you take us through the attacking strategy? It was adventurous. Uh, nearly came off with Max and the crossfield kicks. There was quite a few crossfield kicks. Is that a deliberate strategy to really try to stretch the defence in pretty difficult conditions? Yeah, we, d we just felt um, that that throwing wide passes. You will have seen one. Uh, we were on penalty advantage, but but one to Tom right there uh, inside the 22. We got caught back on the 22 because they tend to be be able to as soon as the ball's in the air for a long period they. They close that space very quickly. They've got very fleet-footed players, and they tend to play up on the edges uh, very, very hard. So it was a way to to look for some space in behind that. Um, and you know, I didn't want us to to just try not to lose because I think, uh, particularly in that first half, we wanted to go out and 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 be ahead at half time, give ourselves the confidence that when they unleashed that bench that they had. That, that we'd already earned a earned a uh, a pretty uh, combative, competitive first forty, and, and maybe a, a narrow lead. Um, it's five tests. I've got my miles right. Five tests into the journey so far. How are you feeling yourself? Are you feeling invigorated? Or are you feeling what have I taken on here? Ah uh, no. Uh, Firstly, they are a great bunch of men um, and they are incredibly proud to play for their country and, and incredibly disappointed not not to be successful when they when they are playing for their country. One of the things about this competition is it's not going to get any easier. We're, we play three of the four semi-finalists and we weren't one of them. Um, so it, it, it doesn't get easier going to Argentina next. They'll, they'll be... They'll be disappointed with their first half um, tonight, earlier tonight. But um, you know they demonstrated just how tough they can be to beat when when they toppled the All Blacks um, and and didn't even give them a bonus point. So um, I'd, I've known Felipe Contepomi for a long time. I'd have a lot of respect for for his um, his rugby intellect and um, 
yeah, he's a top man. Um, so uh, being friends uh, certainly stops at kick off though. Um, so that they won't be taking it easy on us and, and we'll try to make things difficult for them. So Joe, you've been around for a while, but losing the four front rows, I think about 10 years of game time. Have you ever seen something like that? And can you just sort of describe what your, what your understanding of what happened there was when you sort of go down to 14 and then all of a sudden you're back to 15 uncontested? What, what just happened? Yeah, it, it, it's very hard to keep up with things when they happen that quickly. Um, it, it, some of it was managed at half time because Alan and uh, and Angus Bell came off at half time, but then you know you're skinny. You can't afford to lose another prop, and then um, Slips got uh, an HIA right at the start of the second half. So then, then then you're in trouble straight away. And Josh Nasser. Um, about the 55 minute mark he, he, he kept cramp, cramping we were hoping he could actually keep playing but um, in the end um, that just wasn't going to be possible so we had kind of two hookers and a and a tight head prop um, and, and a very young tight head prop so it was I, I've been involved coaching over 100 test matches and I've never seen that before Which uh, Angus were you going to take him up the hard time no, it wasn't. No, we thought he had another probably 10 minutes in him. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I thought he acquitted himself really well. So, you know, it was promising for us, obviously. Um, we were missing Taniella as well. So so we were a little bit down on, on firepower in the, in the front row, um, especially once we'd lost uh, Alan Alalatoa as well. Down on experience, definitely. Um, young Zane is, is working his way forward and, and um, you know, again, he's, he's a good young kid who, who will continue to grow, but, um, you know, you got to grow fast against a team like the Springbok and, and the guys they can bring off the bench. And with Hunter, does it look like some sort of leg issue? Yeah, yeah um, Hunter, uh, we're not sure. It, it might be just a cork in the thigh or, or it could be just a... Um, a little bit of MCL or, or something like that. He he was relatively keen to try to play on, but um, you know when you get one of those corks, they're pretty uh, debilitating, and, and you can't stretch out. And if you can't stretch out, you're going to be chasing shadows if you if you're playing some of those South African players. So, with Angus, was it, it was it was a, it was a cot. But it was up, what, kept them off the rest of the game? Well, once he had that cut, um, we, we thought it was it was better to replace him. Um, and uh, that, that first 40 minutes, just with him returning from a very long injury, um, it, we'd, we'd already decided at half-time that, that uh, with the cut, we would make it an injury replacement, um, which... which you know, in retrospect, he, he potentially could have gone back on, but um, once he'd cooled down and and he has returned from that injury, I just think it, it wouldn't have been the best thing for his foot. And, um, uh, and, and we never expected to lose slips anyway. He's one of the most robust 140-odd testers. Um, so you, you just don't expect to, to lose him. Uh, so that, that, was, that was really disappointing for us and for... For, for slips, and he took over the captaincy. So then, um, you know, then White, Nick White took over the captaincy. Then, then our, our loose head prop here uh, took over the captaincy. So it, it kind of, even that is, uh, and no disrespect to Harry, but it's a little bit destabilising when you're working your way through and you get to your fourth captain. Um, just because Harry wouldn't have had the expectation that he was going to be leading the side um, when we when we started the match. Joe, Joe, when you have to go down to your fourth captain, uh, you lose players like Slipper, but you're still in the fight with the team that was described earlier this week as the benchmark for the World Champions team. Box. How much confidence? Yeah. Oh, it, it, it's a little bit of confidence and, and a little bit of frustration because... Um, when we got to 18, 12, and, and it stayed like that for just a little while, we had a couple of half opportunities um, to potentially build pressure or, um, or capitalise on opportunity that we, that we didn't take. And, 
And if you don't get those and you don't grab those and you don't create a little bit of doubt in their mind that, that, that we're close enough and, and dangerous enough, then, you know, that was a little bit of frustration. But um, as I said, the first half, uh, I, f I felt we fought really, really hard. Um, we ended up with, a, a, you know, a, a few good line breaks and, um, and, and a few opportunities. Even as I said, when Max did get his, uh, there was that little bit of space behind that he looked for. If he could have found it, it a it would have been fantastic for Max as a young kid, give him some confidence and and um, going forward. But also for us, it would have put us, you know, potentially back to 23-19, and, and and then you're right in the game again, um, which you know I'm sure we got so much good support today um, that I'm sure people would have been would have been really excited about, and and, and obviously so would have we. How did you assess Noah from, from, from my side? He really, really improved. Really yeah, he's grown in confidence. And, you know, if you haven't had time in the saddle and you're, and you're, you're trying to trying to organise things, and I, I think he, uh, I was delighted with the way he coped. You know, Lenny Ikato hasn't played 12 for us and Andrew Callaway hasn't played 13 and losing Hunter. He, 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 stayed, um, he stayed really composed, I thought. And, um, and and ran the game as best he could, and I think we we just um, you know as as much as we became a little bit um, probably out of kilter in the pack, it, it just probably upset our backline balance as well. Uh, Hunter's been super for us, and um, so so that was a bit of a loss. And so despite all that, I thought Noah did look um, really composed and and stayed in the game really well. Um, and, and I thought it, his kicking was improved as, uh, on top of that. Joe, how much of this difference can Ted Yellow make when he comes back in Argentina? Two weeks running now, the game line's been a bit of a tough battle, particularly in time. I mean, how's he going to come in and improve things? Yeah, <laughs> he's a bit of a tank, isn't he? He's, he's, he's pretty hard to stop if we can get him with some momentum. Um, but but even last week in the second half, I, I felt that here uh, that Harry got some good gain line. Um, Bob Valentini, uh, he, he got a, um, some good gain line, and you know I, I I do feel that we can. We've got to share the load. We can't say right, we've got Nala back. He's going to give us gain line. We've we've got to be able to share the load, and we've got to keep building other players uh, to be confident, and and we've got to have live options. I think one of the things that stops a team storming at you is when they're not sure who's going to end up with the ball, and um, and we've got to work really hard at, at all that um, because I do think that yeah, yeah I thought Luke Hahn carried uh, probably the best I've seen him tonight, and I, I was gutted for him and obviously for us when he when he lost that ball because that again was an opportunity for us to to get close enough on the scoreboard to put them under some pressure. So, um, yeah, that, those missed opportunities, you you, uh, you can't really afford to miss those. But I suppose on the other side, I felt the way we scrambled defensively after a couple of um, line breaks from them in the first half was, was admirable. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe survived a, a couple of points that they could have added on. At the same time, you know, I, I thought Fussy, his try in the corner, came from a from a, a player knocking that back out of out of the ruck when he was off his feet, and those things happen. You know, that that probably counteracted the the good stuff that we um, that we did manage to survive with the with the, the early line breaks that they got. Just looking ahead, Joe, the Argentina tour. Um, is Skelton out of the mix for that? And is there anyone that you would consider bringing back or anyone that's available um, from a comeback from injury? Um, yeah, I, th I think Nick Frost and, and uh, Jeremy Williams are, are both back from injury. They're both uh, they're both going to be available, which is which is great. I, I thought Nick Frost certainly in, in the games I've watched and the games I've coached against Nick, um, that was probably the best game I thought he'd played for the Wallabies last week. I thought he was he was outstanding. He's he's a big athletic man, um, very good in the line out, and uh, is probably the most most physical. Um, that I've seen him play, and uh, so uh, you know, there's a couple of those guys come back. Taniella comes back. Um, 
but we're going to have to reassess uh, a couple of other guys. The good thing is we've got a we've got a weekend that that we don't have to play. Um, so, you know, with the 12-day stand down, there may be some guys who come back and and are, are ready to play by the by the time we get to um, Buenos Aires and and play that that first game against the Springbok uh, against the Argentinian. Sorry. Um, I, I've, I, I continue to have conversations with Will, but it's as I said, it is complicated to get to get someone like uh, Will back um, out of the the um, the top 14 uh, lead-in, which is which is currently underway. They are in pre-season training, um, and at the same time, as I said, I, I, I felt Luke Hahn played well tonight. Um, Nick Frost is coming back in after a good game, and and Angus Blyth. I, I thought he fought really hard in that first half. So. Um, you know, there, there are there are guys there who who, who are working really hard and, and and are incredibly keen to to wear the jersey. And I know Will is as well. He's really proud of of being a Wallaby. And and um, so I guess in the context of Marika, it was great to have him back. Um, and I felt he he added a a, a bit of an edge tonight um, and a bit of experience. And um, you know, I, th I think that helps give a bit of confidence to other players as well. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it. Thank you.